Hollywood. You love it, or maybe you hate it, but you definitely know it. Millions of people around the world watch big Hollywood films every year. The area is basically the center for American films, and they dominate the global market. But have you ever thought about how it was formed? Or why? Well, believe it or not, it involves Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison was not the first to get involved with films, as others such as the Lumiere brothers are his contemporaries. But he was the first to see massive profit in the industry. Edison was first and foremost a great businessman, and saw that film was a way to gain more wealth. Edison was able to see the future of films as being the backbone of entertainment, but he couldn't really understand its full potential. Edison's film and were more interesting curiosities than features. Honestly, today's internet cat videos are probably the most similar thing I can think of. He filmed dances, athletic feats, animals fighting, and some films that stroked American sexuality like Comencia and The Kiss. He knew what the public wanted, and that was spectacle, action, and sex appeal, which is not much different than what we crave today. And he largely used places like Nickelodeon's and Kinoscope parlors to show his films. Now, remember when I said Edison was first a great businessman? Well, he was. He even sued a former employee for the rights of an invention the employee made. But most importantly, he created the Motion Picture Patents Company, which was essentially a trust made of Edison's production company fused with some friends of his. It was based out of the East Coast, as this was the center of film at the time. This dominated the industry and pushed those wanting to pursue art out of the picture. Edison did not see film as art, but as money. Even going as far as to not credit actors, as he was afraid that if they received name recognition, that they could negotiate for higher pay. However, a few people started to fight back. Most notable was Carl Lamell, the man that would later create Universal Studios. Using his wealth, he first created the Independent Moving Pictures Company. He started his campaign against the trust by going to Nickelodeon's and trying to get them to use his films instead of Edison's. He used a system where they could simply rent the films they wanted instead of buying them. Thomas Inc. was able to help as he was a famed director at the time, and he worked for Lamell and he created over 200 shorts to help battle Edison's hold on the industry. This major defiance to the trust empowered other studios that were once too afraid to say anything as they would be hit by massive lawsuits. But now, smaller studios banded together to stand up against Edison and his trust. Lamell was able to turn Edison's business strategy against him. As mentioned, Edison refused to give actors their billing. Lamell, on the other hand, did. Lamell was able to sign one of Edison's actresses, Florence Lawrence, Florence Lawrence, wow, that's a name, Florence Lawrence, away and make her the imp girl. Lamell's strategy was that by giving billing, the actor could build a fan base, which in turn would be used to bring more crowds in to see films with that actor. And he turned out to be correct. Edison's trust soon was facing too much competition, as well as endless lawsuits against them. Finally, in 1915, the courts decided that Edison's trust was in fact illegal and broke it. During this period of struggle, directors and producers that didn't try to fight Edison in the East tried to go out West. This distance meant that they were further out of the reach of Edison's long arm, and thus safer. Not to mention that the weather in California was great for filming. This basically was the founding of Hollywood, a sunny haven from Edison's trust. By 1916, 60% of the films were being made in the West. However, what really caused Hollywood's rise was during the era of World War I. This was the war that America largely kept out of until the end, which meant that Hollywood had no real global competition, thus was able to fill a need for entertainment both here in America and in Europe. 
which they did, giving it a massive boost and leg up over overseas competitors. Soon the era of big studios would form. Lamel broke up his company, the independent moving pictures, into smaller studios so he could go on to start the iconic Universal Studios. William Fox, one of Lamel's strongest allies against the trust, went on to form the Fox Film Corporation, which would later become 20th Century Fox. Paramount would also be founded during this era. But there you have it, how Edison's business tactics drove many directors and producers to flee and found an ideal location far in the west, thus founding Hollywood. That wraps it up for this video. I know I've said for quite some time that we were going to do history videos and now finally we have one. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any other topics that you would like me to cover that I haven't thought of, go ahead and leave those suggestions in the comments. Of course, like and share this video uh, if you found it interesting. If you want to hear more uh, videos with me talking about things, we don't really have other history ones yet, but we do have theories of video games and shows. So click on the right for another video like that. Now, if you just want to hear some of my awesome saxophone music, go ahead and click on the left. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. That helps us a lot, especially in this new era of YouTube. And as always, stay saxy, my friends.